Look at that. Yeah, I know. Nice. Bob has joined us with a special edition well, to the set tonight. You know, we're celebrating. This is the time of the, the year, right? A lot of people season. are talking about holiday yeah. season. I want to tell you a quick story. This was at the parade. Uh, this lady got caught in the staging area of all the different floats. She couldn't get out. She was in her car, so <laughs> I helped her out. That's right. And she gave me that. Now, this is Mr. Troy D. Sullivan. He is a veteran of the Pearl Harbor, one of the survivors, and he Harbor was the uh, Grand Marshal of the parade. I wanted to shake his hand and say hello to him. He's uh, in his mid-90s right there, and the gentleman who was driving was also a veteran of the uh, Vietnam War, so a lot going on there as far as that goes. Great parade there, and uh, getting back to this uh, gift here real quickly, a car was caught who was nothing to do with the parade, and this young lady here, uh, Belinda Serber, was there and she couldn't get out because everything was blocked. I said, come here, follow me, and I guided her through all the people and the kids, and and, uh, you know, I didn't tell her who I was or anything. Then yeah. all of a sudden, she dropped off this nice basket, gift That's basket. That's pretty cool. She and found it's out called a boatload of gratitude for your kindness and help while navigating an exit through that parade. You never think anyone will get caught in a in parade. In a parade. That is <laughs> such a good story. Too bad we didn't have video. But if you ever do, yeah. look for I'll, I'll help you. I'll find And a then way you out. have to send a gift basket. That's required. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was Very a lot nice of fun. Gesture. Thank you, Ann. Yeah. And we had the big lighting tomorrow, too. Uh, we got that taking place at Selby. And then uh, the boat parade going on at Sarasota on Saturday. So there's still a lot of events taking place uh, across the Sun Coast. Uh, Casey Key webcam showing seas were up a little bit. Nice sunset tonight. And a photo sent in of this snowy egret. No snow down here, but Cindy Desmond getting a catch of that. I think that's a snowy. I can't tell. All You can, you can tell by the... Uh, uh, feet. If they're yellow, it's a snow egret. If they're not, it's a great egret. And the great egrets are usually bigger than the snowy ones there. Cindy Desmond sending that in uh, near Clark and I-75 in Sarasota. A little bit of a frontal boundary down to our south right now. A chance for rain Thursday, breezy and colder Friday, and a progressive pattern, meaning uh, we're going to keep going back and forth to cold fronts and so on and so forth as we move through time. So every three, four days, another front will move on through. Some showers well to the west of Key West. Again, this is uh, from military exercises, not legitimate showers there approaching uh, Sanibel and also down near Key Largo. But these showers are legitimate, and we will eventually see some of that moisture return our way beginning late tomorrow. 69 right now, the dew point 62, and winds are out of the north, northwest at 6, the pressure 30.08 inches. And the high today did manage to get above average, 76, and 59 was the morning low. So not much of a cold front. Uh, moving through yesterday, which brought us some much needed rainfall. Over an inch reported at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. No rain to report today. We did have fog and low clouds this morning. We could see similar conditions tomorrow, more so to our north. So if you have a commute plan along Interstate 4 or 75 northbound, you may run into some fog there. It could be rather, rather thick. 50s over the panhandle, 62 degree dew point now in Sarasota. Actual temperature now at 69 and 73 in Orlando. Temperatures upper 60s to low 70s across the region. 73 in Punta Gorda, 68 in Cortez, 69 now in Brayden. And this is the wind forecast out of the north tonight and some fog in the forecast too. You saw that briefly over Hillsborough and northern portions of Manatee County. So we'll keep the fog in the mix a little bit in the morning. Uh, we had some this morning. It was rather thick. There was a dense fog advisory. I think that'll be more of a problem for areas north of, say, Sarasota. Uh, satellite and radar imagery showing this line of clouds right there. That's the subtropical jet stream, which is very active over our area right now, and that will actually uh, bring us some breezy conditions on Friday as well. As far as the forecast goes, looking pretty good for us. Uh, just a few clouds tomorrow increasing throughout the day. That cold air to the north eventually spilling in our direction, it looks like, as we move through time. Now, the boating forecast looks like this. Seas running 2 to 3 feet with a moderate chop tomorrow. We'll have north winds 5 to 10 knots, and then uh, seas building a little bit in the afternoon as those winds pick up. A high tide upcoming in just a few minutes. Low tide will be at 158, and sunrise at 708. Some fog possible, mainly inland and to the north, 63 for your low. Tomorrow, look for morning fog, increasing clouds, a slight chance for a shower at 30%. The extended forecast does call for a 40% chance for mainly Thursday night, Friday morning early for rain, and then breezy and turning cooler on Friday, and chilly start on Saturday, but it warms up quite nicely, 72 by the afternoon. Back to you.